twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like the diamond in the sky welcome to my channel once again i appreciate you wherever you are connecting from around the globe if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a video you will be among the first to receive the information when it comes today i'm going to share with you the video of our reverend father eg Kimbaka, what he is saying about the politics in nigeria as you all know reverend father eg Kimbaka has taken a new turn he has now started doing what he's supposed to do as a man of God. And this is what we expect from every other person who calls himself either a G or a Reverend Father, whatever. It is high time they begin to speak the truth to the authority. Stop being afraid. This is the time to speak the truth. Say it the way it is. It doesn't matter who is concerned. Speak the truth for once. If you say it, you will die. If you don't say it, you will eventually die. Nigeria is very insecure now and nobody is safe. It doesn't matter if you are flying on private jet or if you are moving with Land Cruiser or security. It will surely come to your doorstep. This is the time for people to speak up, just as Farambaka is doing now. Let's watch the message of Farambaka recently, what he has to say about the situation of Nigeria. Like right now, the, the shepherds of Nigeria, God will be watching them. The way the country is moving. Nigerians are scattered everywhere. That is what God is saying. He's going to gather the remnants. Amen. And he will gather them and be the shepherd for them. Amen. Since the so-called leaders cannot take good care of them, very soon the brand new uh, jet fighters will arrive, bought from uh, wherever country, to use to care our children. Ebutego in the plane off we go to Chara. I get you where no come. Where Bobo Shende and NUPC. They said, actually, if anybody, any group of people say they want to go, is that why you should kill them? If somebody says he doesn't want to belong to where you belong, you ask him why. Is it not a country with the freedom of speech? Freedom of association? What actually is happening? Embedded in our constitution. And there's no way in our constitution that anybody should be a looter. With police and military security around them. With the bullion van carrying monies up and down where the 99% of our countrymen can hardly feed. Buy one penta of Gary and know how many can feed with it for how many days. And where is the Gary? Go to the farm and farm and people will come and mess up your products and even kill the farmer. And the people that should talk about this are freely playing with people's lives. Bad shepherding. Even those who are representing us, I don't mean just the president and the northerners. Our own Igbo representatives. How many of them are good shepherds? There is no reason why anybody should be a leader representing any of us. And we'll be seeing what we are suffering from. And they will still be amassing the type of money and wealth they are amassing comfortably. It's wickedness crying to heaven. And you know the, the reason why I'm laughing. When God wants to act, he doesn't take permission from anybody. Even Mr. President, I will tell him to be careful. It's not yet over. The good shepherd in heaven. I will say people will say, Allah care ye. Allah God forbid. Why our national youths will be running up and down looking for how to survive. But we have billions and billions and billions of money that are now being used to buy 
war equipments to use to be killing them when they cry that they are hungry. If anybody says, I'm hungry, it's not good. Pam. You are a bandit. You are a terrorist. You are a secessionist. Do you want to leave Nigeria? Or you want to join this? That is not the issue. Do what you should do and nobody will complain. The level of criminality going on in the political powerhouses are indescribable. And they should repent. Because the anger of the youth are rising every day. I forgot to tell you people what may happen to bad shepherds sooner or later. Listen to this story. I visited a friend and I was chatting with him in his sitting room. Here in Enugu. And the daughter came in and said, Daddy, I heard that Farambaka came to your house. Say yes. Say, Daddy, please, can I see him? Say, look at him now. Say, are you Farambaka? He said, God bless you. Say, yes. It's the same voice. Daddy Mbaka, God bless you. I have prayed and prayed and said, one day I must see you before we do what we are planning to do. Listen. This is a secondary school child. An adolescent. Father Mbaka, each time we listen to your tape, we bless God that somebody is speaking for the youth. Because our leaders has failed us. The father is a big politician. He has money. You need to come to their compound and see the language of opulence and financial wellness. So, the father said, what are you planning to do? She said, ah, Papa, I. She said, and she called herself with her groups in the secondary school, scattered everywhere. Scattered everywhere. <laughs> Say, we are planning something. And by the time the plans are okay, Nigeria will change or everybody will go home. <laughs> this is a secondary school that they are not happy that they have been hearing about when if you are in the secondary school and you do very, very well, you get a job. If you finish in university with a 2-1, automatic job. With automatic even scholarship, first class, even to the Babangida's time. What has happened? And the groups are planning and one day and the thing is spreading. One day, when the thing is ripe enough, everybody will catch his own father. These, the people involved are children of rich politicians. That each person will catch his own father and kill. <laughs> the father said, Ah! So you will kill me! I don't want, I don't want. I said, Baba, Daddy, you don't need to make a noise. Killing you is just the least of what we are planning to do. That is why I'm telling them, they are busy talking about Nam the Kano, Nam the Kano. Nam the Kano is not a problem. They should just release the poor young boy who is aggrieved with what is happening each time he comes to Nigeria and see his people being raped, being killed. Nobody can farm anymore comfortably. Staying in the village is not safe. Staying in the urban is not safe. The youths are moving up and down. Many drinking whatever they can drink. Kai kai and whatever. Hopelessness became the order of the day. If the children in the school will be thinking like this, 
Do you think they are not worse than 1,000 in America bound together? The youths are dissatisfied with the pattern of leadership. What we are experiencing is bad shepherding. Bad shepherding. Even we who are on the altar should be careful. In the book of Malachi, chapter 3, the Bible says, you priests, if you are not careful, I will cost your blessing. God is the owner of the world. It doesn't matter who is supporting you and who is against you. Romans 8, 31 says, if God is for us, who can be against us? In this case, majority does not carry the vote. God's side wins the battle. As I said, stop agitation. You can't even stop agitation. Reasons for agitations are increasing every day. Why not to look for the solution? All these children who are trained abroad, when they will come home, do you think they can fit in into this type of rubbish? Where there will be billions of money voted for ecological fund, billions. And you will not see a job done. If there will be a job, it will be skeletal. Where are the billions? God in heaven, the author of the universe, who is the chief shepherd, says, A cost are your worldly shepherds who are not taking care of my sheep. Go to Ugoyama Road now. That trap. Is that place part of Nigeria? The industrial hub of east of Nigeria. The home of MBL, the home of Coca-Cola, the home of Pepsi. Oh, that place is where we cannot toy with. But that shows you that the leadership is not interested in industrialization. And if industrialization cannot be promoted, what is the hope of the youth? Where will they work? I pity manufacturers. The quantum of taxation given to them. Even in the swama, and I'm back on an ego, and I'm on the mando, all internal generated revenue. Rubbish. That is the lack of creativity and ingenuity. Do you know what it means in abroad to gather waste? You recycle waste from waste to wealth. One company in abroad can come and be generating power with it. Generating fertilizer and manure. All the states in the country, each one you visit, you see the youth moving up. And what I'm saying did not just start with this administration. No. The bad leadership started for years now. And they're handing it over like a button. Take from me, I will give you the other. Relay race. But it's going to stop one day. It will not continue forever. Yeah. Whatever has a terminus ad quo must have a terminus ad quem. Yeah. Ah, it's only God who has no beginning that will have no end. Bad shepherding. Oh, children are scattering. One called me last three days. I just saw a number coming. I picked. Who are you? Foreign number. I'm calling from Libya. Daddy, please. I might speak with Daddy Mbaka. Save your son. Save your son. Save your son. He said, where are you? I'm in Libya. For, uh, for 13 years, he has been there. He said, come home now. I cannot come. There's no money. There's no money. He said, said Jesus. So how do you want me to help you? So I got your number from somebody. When you were in the crusade in London, please help me. I want to come home. I said, I'm going to come home. I said, I'm going to come home. 
Why in on each and why you're over there? You can me. A two according to many families here. My child is in abroad. If they tell you what they do when they go outside Nigeria, you better ask them, don't go. Many will go there and be useless. But the fear and shame of coming back, they cannot bear. Home is home. There is nowhere like Nigeria if this country will be taken care of by our leaders. If selfishness, if egotism, I, me, myself, we go and we begin to think about the order. Leadership is all about the order. You. How do I take care of you? 